welcome. Come to a comfortable seated position. If you're sitting in a seated cross-legged pose, maybe pull your behind and roll your sit bones down onto the ground. If you're like me and you're sitting on your heels, do the same and feel the engagement of your sitting bones engaged with your heels. Recognize your breath. And so I'm going to start us with some Ujjayi breathing. Ujjayi breathing is what they call victorious breath. It brings vict victory to your body and it warms the body up. And so when we begin these few poses in the beginning, we are going to already have our body warmed up through breath. So I encourage you to just close your eyes and begin to inhale through your nostrils and then making a hissing sound as you open your mouth. <sighs> Feel that feeling as the breath flows through your throat. Inhale. Now keeping your lips closed, remain keeping that hissing sound in the back of your throat, but exhale through your nose. Again, inhale. Exhale. And just like a wave, I encourage you to just stay with a steady Ujjayi breath. As I read a passage out of this book, it's called Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. Simply said, when, I, when spring rolls around, I always admire my neighbor's lawns. I only have to walk by a few before I start to wonder why mine doesn't look as good as theirs. You can, begin, you can imagine how excited I was the year I found out I could plant sod instead of seed and have a manicured lawn in an instant. For a little extra money, I could take a shortcut and have a pristine yard in no time. I learned the process, though, that sod delivers a pretty lawn faster, but faster isn't always better. After a few months, some sections were patchy and parched. It's because the grass has grown on different soil. Good looks aren't always a reflection of good health. When we let grace take root in our hearts, we don't just act like Jesus on the outside, we become more like Jesus on the inside. We become more patient with people who need a lot of grace. We are less interested in our own image and more interested in people who are rejected by everyone else. God has you planted right where he wants you. Don't envy your neighbor's lawn or wish you were growing in a different rate. We might be able to look the part faster if we fake it, but our shortcuts will fail and become like that parched lawn. Don't plant sod where God wants you to put seeds. Trust in the process in your life. He's more interested to make us grow than having us look finished. So as we continue with our breath, move into mountain. Find your feet rooted on the ground. Rolling your shoulders back, pressing your feet into the ground, spreading and lifting your toes, gripping the floor with your feet, feeling all four corners of, the, of your feet into the ground. Inhale your arms up to the sky. Exhale down. Again, continuing with our Ujjayi breath, inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now inhale your arms overhead, clasping your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale. On the exhale, take your right foot behind you like a curtsy, pressing the right blade of your foot into the ground. Inhale, 
Exhale, side bend to the left. Mmm, doesn't that feel good? Smile. Pressing your feet into the floor, squeeze your thighs together. Feel how that engages your core. Continue to breathe. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, take your right your left wrist with your right hand and curtsy back your left foot, pressing the left blade of your foot into the ground, pressing your right foot firmly into the ground and squeezing your thighs together. Inhale, exhale to the side. Drawing your sit bones down. See how that opens up your hips. Maybe take your gaze up to your hands, see what that feels like, or take your gaze to your left foot. Breathe. Inhale, back to center. Now we're gonna get a little bit balanced. So I inhale your right leg, I'm going to turn so you can kind of see me this way. Inhale your right leg, just a tabletop. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, your right arm goes back, left arm goes forward in a twist, keeping your gaze towards the front of the room. Recognize the twist in your abdominals, in opening up your chest. Now inhale, exhale your left hand to your outer right leg. Breathe. Now to move just a little deeper, if you feel the need, inhale. Exhale your gaze back towards the back wall. Continue to breathe, elongate. Pressing down with that left foot, staying anchored. Keeping your hips level. Inhale, back to center. Left leg, inhale. Arms overhead, exhale. Left arm back towards the back wall. Right arm extended forward. Keep twisting, just twisting through the core. Inhale, exhale, take your right hand towards the outside of your left knee. See what it feels like to press your left leg up against your right hand. See how that engages your core even more. Inhale, exhale, take your gaze back to the back wall. If this isn't comfortable for your neck, you can keep your head wherever it is most comfortable. Be mindful of where your shoulders are. Are you gripping your shoulders up by your ears or are you resting them down on your spine? Breathe. Inhale, back to center. Now let's come into what we call a figure four. This is kind of a pigeon pose, but it's standing. And so you go ahead and you want to inhale your foot, just like we did in tabletop, and then take and rest your right, your right foot on your left, right above your left knee. You want to make sure that you're not resting on your knee. Keep it up on your thigh. Inhale, if this is enough for you, this is a great hip opener. If you want to move next to a wall, if you feel a little wobbly, even if you're bracing yourself, you are encouraging balance in your body. The more balance that we can do, the longer we're going to be stable on our feet as we age. Inhale. To engage your core even more, Go ahead and inhale and hold your arms up towards the sky. Take them up in a Y if you'd like. Continually pressing and opening up your right hip by pressing your left foot down and flexing your right foot. 
Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, taking your left foot over your right thigh. If you want to just rest your hands on your thigh or on your hips, you can. This is a great hip opener. Want to move a little deeper on this side? Inhale, and you can come forward. Only to come forward as much as you are comfortable. Continue to breathe into your outer left hip or wherever you feel this personally. Inhale, you can take your arms overhead. This is a full body workout, challenging your balance. If you are somebody who suffers from any type of anxiety or just even self-sabotage, negative thinking, Put yourself in a balancing pose. Focus on the present. Focus where you are. Inhale. Take your foot back to the ground. Now let's move into our first flow. Inhale, your arms overhead, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, plank. As you're in here in plank, press your hands down into the ground. Shoot your heels back towards the back wall. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Pedal it out. It's our first down dog of the day. Keep breathing. Now find your rest in down dog, gripping the mat with your fingertips, almost like a suction cup. Allowing your tailbone to drop towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Right foot between your hands. Warrior two. As you're in warrior two, just imagine you're squeezing a ball with your inner thighs. Feel that feeling as that energy is just squeezing that ball. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe move a little deeper. Inhale. Exhale, reverse warrior, move into tippy toe on your front foot. Feel how that engages your whole entire right side. Smile. Inhale, drop your front heel. Exhale, side angle. Keeping your spine in the mountain align alignment, pressing both of your feet into the floor. See the separation, feel the separation between your hip and your ab abdominals. How your abdominals will engage themselves the more you press your front foot into the ground. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, back to plank. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Hmm. See how down dog is a resting pose? Inhale, your left foot in between your hands and come on up to warrior two. See how I did that? Flipped it around so that way I'd be facing you. <laughs> Continue to breathe. Where's your engagement on your back right foot? Are you pressing the blade side of your foot into the ground? Are you pressing your heel, your left heel into the ground? 
Feel how as you press in both of those areas, how it engages your midsection. Inhale, exhale, reverse warrior on your tippy toes. Maybe recognize just how different each side feels. How do you feel this differently and in different areas than what you felt it on the other side? That's what I love about movement with breath and stretching is there, for me personally, I feel it in so many different areas and it's so cool. Inhale, exhale, side angle. Bringing your body back into that mountain align alignment. Your sit bones pointing down towards the ground. If this is challenging on your neck, you can always bring your hand to your hip. If you bring your hand to your hip, maybe roll your shoulders open. If this is challenging for your neck, you can take your gaze to the floor. There is no perfect way of doing any of this. This is your practice. Inhale, exhale, back to plank. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Pedal it out again. See how that feels. Now let's flow through this again one more time, a little more quickly. Inhale, exhale your right leg through in between your, feet, your hands. Inhale, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, reverse warrior on your tippy toes. Inhale, exhale, side angle. Press and stay engaged. Inhale, back to center. Maybe come into star pose. Inhale, just rotate over to your left. Warrior two on the left side. Change it up a little bit for y'all. Inhale, exhale, tippy toe reverse warrior. Inhale. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exhale, back to plank. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, right hand, leg between your hands. Lunge. See how you feel in this lunge. Recognize, are your hips all out of whack like this? Is your back foot, is your heel pressing towards the back wall? Pressing down in alignment with your right ankle and your right knee, pressing into the floor to almost draw up if you want to get some blocks at this point, you can certainly have a block on each side of you on any level. If it's better for you to have a chair, you can certainly have a chair. Continue to breathe. Pyramid. Come on up. Bring your left foot approximately a foot and a half, forward, inhale, your arms overhead, exhale, clasping your hands together, taking a hold of each elbow, or if your practice allows you to put your hands in prayer position behind your back, certainly feel free to do that. My practice does not allow that. So inhale, 
Look to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward over your right leg. Pyramid on the right side. Breathe. Keeping just as much engagement in your back foot as you are your front foot. See how that engages your core. Breathe. Maybe shake your head, no. Shake your head, yes. If it doesn't feel good for you to have your hands back behind you, you can always take and rest your hands on the floor. You can bring your hands to a block. Whatever is most comfortable for you. Inhale. Exhale. Back to plank. This feels so good, you guys. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Roll your shoulders back. Keeping your shoulders engaged, pressing your hands down into the ground. Get a good, good stretch. We're almost to the end. Inhale. Exhale, left foot between your hands. Now, recognize when you're in this lunge, if you're just sunk down, see how it feel, looks when I drop my hips? Now, it does open my front hip flexors. However, you want to stay engaged. Just as on the other side, if it's good for you and it's in your practice to have a block to support you and bring yourself up, certainly feel free to do that. Keep your foot, your front foot especially, engaged, pressing down into the floor, lifting your core, lifting your abdomen up off of your leg. This is not a time to prop yourself up with your front leg. It is to bring separation between your hips and your abdomen and see how that feels. Breathe. Inhale, bring yourself up. Pyramid on the left side. Bring your foot in about a foot and a half. Inhale, your arms overhead. Exhale, whatever arm variation is comfortable for you, clasp the opposite. So if you had your left arm over your right, take your right arm over your left this time. Inhale. Exhale, spill forward. May your cup runneth over. This is the love thyself practice. We are all about just recognizing areas of our, of our lives where we need to love ourselves more so we can flow onto others. The only way to do that is to have awareness. Continue to breathe. Pressing your feet, keeping your feet engaged with the ground. See how that keeps your core up off of your center again, right? Inhale, exhale, back to plank. Inhale, exhale, one more down dog. Oh, make it nice and stretchy. Maybe dance it out a little bit if you feel the need. Hmm. Inhale. Exhale. Bring yourself down to tabletop. In tabletop, you want to make sure that your hand, your wrists, and your shoulders are directly underneath each other. Pressing your feet, either you can have your toes flipped and pressing your toes into the ground, or you can flip the top of your feet and press the top of your feet. And I encourage you to try both to see what works best for you, what feels best for you, and recognize how it really engages your core. Inhale, 
Let's move into cow. Inhale, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale. Exhale your right leg back behind you. You can either have it resting on the floor like this, or you can bring it up to work the glutes a little bit more and engage your core. If you have your foot up off the floor, make sure that your hips are in alignment. Make sure you are pressing into both of your hands equally. Inhale, exhale, extend your left arm in front of you. Continually gripping your right hand for balance, keeping equanimity all throughout your body. Feel like your left hand is still on the floor pressing. Recognize that balance in your body. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, take your left foot behind you, either pressing it down into the ground or bringing it up for bird dog. Inhale, exhale, extend your right hand in front of you. Recognize, is your balance better on one side than the other? I know mine is. Recognize, are you pointing your toe or are you flexing your foot? What is most comfortable for you? Breathe. Continually staying engaged. Exhale. So extend your left foot back behind you. Almost like you're getting ready to take off for a race, right? Inhale, rotate your right knee and your right foot behind you for side arm balance. This might be enough for you today. A lot of days this is enough for me. If you would like to add a little more, you can always bring your left leg up. You can extend it out. If you want, you could actually do some leg lifts. Burn them hips, right? Keep engaged in your side body, continually pressing with your right hand into the floor, your back toes pressing into the ground. Exhale, come back to center. I'm gonna switch sides. Inhale, your right foot into racer, we'll call it racer foot. <laughs> Inhale, Exhale, extend, left side arm balance. Keep breathing. Flowing with your breath is the most important thing. If you find it challenging, you can simply just come to a seated pose and just breathe. That is so beneficial. God breathed us life in through our nostrils. When we continually have breath, if you want it a little more challenging, go ahead and lift your right leg. Stretch it out if you'd like. Keeping your side body engaged. Or some people kind of call it your love handles. <laughs> Exhale. Come back to center. Now let's move through just a couple more little cat cows just to kind of loosen things up again. Exhale cat, inhale cow. This time when you're in cat, maybe move from side to side. See what that feels like. Stretching out both sides of your hips, loosening things up. As we get ready to move into boat pose. <laughs> so, come to a seated posture.
posture. Just as before, when we very first started this, simply find your sit bones on your mat. Inhale, take your gaze directly forward in front of you. Press your feet into the floor. Into the floor. For you, this might be enough for you today. When you simply just engage your feet into the floor and have your sit bones pressing down, your string pulling your spine straight, this is engaging every area of your body. It is so great. If you'd like to, if you're ready for a little more challenge today, you can bring one foot forward Extending your left foot, flex your foot when you come up off the mat. Then go ahead and bring both feet up if you'd like. Flexing both feet, keeping your spine straight, pressing those sit bones down into the ground. Oh, doesn't this feel good? If, if you are not comfortable in this and you would prefer to bring and roll your shoulders back by holding your legs, you can certainly do that. That is a great elongation of your spine. Breathe. Exhale, feet back to floor. We are going to do that again, you guys. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Maybe just do a couple of cat cows. Whatever feels good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Feet up. Flex your feet. Extend your spine. Roll your shoulders back. Hands engaged out in front of you. Row your boat. The more that we can gain strength in our core, the stronger we will be, the more balanced we will be, the more confidence we will have in our movements and our breath. Exhale. Straighten both feet out in front of you. We're gonna do a seated straight-legged twist. So bring your right foot into your left thigh, knee bent. Inhale. On the exhale, take your right hand behind you, pressing your right hand into the floor, straightening your spine. Inhale your left arm overhead. Exhale, twist and wrap your left hand behind you. And breathe. Pressing your sit bones down into the ground. Keeping your left foot flexed. Your right foot anchored. Your shoulders rolled back onto your spine. Inhale back to center. Bend your left leg. Inhale your left arm overhead. Extend it back behind you and press into the floor. Inhale your right arm and come to hug your left leg. Inhale. On the exhale, twist. Mm, this feels so good. Where do you feel this in your body? I feel this in my rhomboid. Your rhomboid is directly in the middle, almost underneath, but along the middle of your spine. I had an injury once on that, and oh man, it feels so good to just stretch it out. Continue to breathe. Exhale. Shake it out. Now come to just whatever is comfortable as you
you sit. I'm going to walk us through a breathing technique that reduces stress and just completely brings calm to your entire body. This is a tool for you to take with you wherever you go in life. Obviously, if you're ever driving, um, maybe you want to pull over if you are doing this. However, you can pull this out of your back pocket at any time, whenever you are feeling any type of stress or imbalance in your body. This will totally rid yourself of anxiety. It's been known to reduce panic attacks or even bring people out of panic attacks. And so I'm going to encourage you to take your two middle fingers, so your index finger and your middle finger, and recognize where your thumb is, and take your thumb to your right nostril, and your ring finger to your left nostril. This is called alternate nostril breathing. So go ahead and inhale both nostrils. Exhale. Now pressing to close your right nostril, inhale in your left. Close, open right, exhale. Inhale right. Close. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close. Exhale right. Inhale right, close, exhale left, inhale left, close, exhale right. Inhale right, close, exhale left, keeping your eyes closed, bring your breath just back to normal. Recognize the fullness of your breath. On each inhale, maybe think 
more of you, God. Exhale, less of me. Now bring yourself down to lie on your mat. Finding a comfortable position, maybe rolling your shoulders back, flexing your feet, and then allowing them to drop open. Having your palms facing the floor or facing the ceiling. Feel your breath. Recognize any type of tension that maybe you hold anywhere in your body. Allow your breath to go right into that area and allow it to relax. As your breath becomes very calm and still. Maybe slightly open your mouth. Relax your jaw. Allow your tongue to just rest on your bottom palate. I read you 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 8. I encourage you to ponder along each word. Maybe pick out areas to pray about things in your specific life. And then find a place of rest. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Continue to stay with your breath. Keeping your thoughts focused on the present. this passage two more times. Each time, allow yourself time to ponder, pray, and rest. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy it does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. 
It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. As you lay here and rest, our minds can have a tendency to begin to flow away from things that we have to do, things that are already on our minds prior to this practice. If you found your thoughts to fall away from this present moment, it's okay. Just bring yourself right back to where we are right now. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Continue to stay in this restful position as long as you need, as long as time serves. Always remember, whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, praiseworthy, and excellent. Keep your thoughts upon those things. Have a great day.